Good morning, everybody. Hello, good to see everybody. I actually have a live person today, Mr. John Short, who is waving. Let's turn this around so that everyone sees an actual live person. So um, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm going to say maybe this is the, the most start a new trend on Saturdays. We can actually stop by and we'll socially distance our, uh, our boot camping here. Anyway, just a quick Wakanda forever for Chaz, Chadwick Bozeman. So sad that he's left us, but uh, what a talent, man. Um, all right, let's go ahead and warm up. Spread it out just a little bit. Take the arms right here. Take a breath. Bring it up and come out. Repeat that. Nice breath in, come down. Take your time. Enjoy that sunshine. That Saturday, you know, the sun is, the lighting's different. One more time. All right, stepping in. Easy swing in the arms just like this. Here we go. Just nice, easy skiing movement there. And swing the arms in opposition. Let the shoulders turn. Breath. It's good. It's cool out. That's such a relief. All right. Good, let those arms come to rest. And take the shoulders in a circle going back. Pulling the shoulder blades out of the back. And let's go the other way. Here we go. There it is. Let's make the golf grip with the hands. Thumbs down toward the shoulders. Take the elbows in. Squeeze them out. Times. Bring the shoulder blades onto the back, open the chest as much as you can. Keep the elbows up as you go back. There we go. And go ahead and extend the arms, hands and still in that golf grip. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, circles going forward. Soften the knees. Slight contraction through the stomach. Arms nice and long. The shoulder blades squeeze, then flip the hands going back. Slightly bigger circles. Wake up those scapular retractors. Those rotator cups. All right, go ahead and drop the arms. Let's go left and right with the head. Oh, yeah. Go to play in action here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Just working with an actual live human being here. All right, let's go forward and back. Stretch the front, stretch the back, chin to chest, chin to sky. <coughs> and go ahead and take it in a full circle. Take it easy, right? Take it slow on that. Don't rush it. See if you can get a full relaxation, relaxation of the head and shoulders all the way around. So at no point are you contracting or squeezing the head and neck to work around something. Let's go the other way. Take your time. Let it drop. There we go. Last round there. Very good. Good. Go ahead and spread the feet out. Go ahead and circle the hips. Squeeze the glutes as you come forward. And let's reverse that. All right, there it is, good. Let's take the feet and ankles, tilt them both directions and set it out. Keep breathing. Listen to those birds, that's kind of nice. Good circle of foot. Right. 
to the inside, pressing down. See if you feel each toe individually. Toes are so often crunched up in our, in our uh, shoes, and yet a lot of uh, capacity to articulate there. Let's go the other direction. Same thing, feel the toes individually. And then switch feet, circle the inside, press down. Sequentially, feel the toes. And then circle the other way. There it is, okay, good. Let's kick up the heel of the butt. Nice little quad stretch here, quad and Hip flexor, you get that knee behind you if you can. Stay tall as you work, stay uh, open through the whole front body, right? So don't crunch down, stay tall. Nice, take it into external rotation. Flex that foot as you do that. That helps you prep the knee. Lifting up high, support the knee to the outside. There we go. There we go. Nice job. Okay, so a little bit of um, front kick towards your opposite hand. So we're just gonna kick the leg up toward the opposite hand, okay? Alternating sides, does not matter how high you get for down here, that's cool. And if you don't, you don't have to make contact with the hand either. It can just be uh, something you're shooting for, right? We wanna get that oppositional movement, hand to foot, foot to hand, opposition, opposition, and as always, keep that foot flexed, right? As much as possible. That's a range of motion we lose. Dorsiflexion, the capacity to flex the foot back. So whenever we can practice that is good. All right, that's nice. Good, sticking it to Grace Jones. Um, let's go both arms forward. Find your balance. Thumbs up, palms face one another. Get those arms extended up and out. Straight line between the hands all the way to the back heel. This is good. One or two more here. Done, nice job, good, okay. Let's get just a little bit of uh, reaction, reaction, reactive work with the, with the feet. Jumping off the ground, that floor and ground underneath you, relax through the shoulders. Let us do a little bit of slaloming, left and right, there we go. Again, soften through the shoulders, soften through the chest. Let's go just a little faster. Don't have to cover much ground here, just go quick, reacting off the ground. And let's go forward and back with those feet. Same idea, just forward and back. Quick, quick, quick. Good, let's jump it out, back in. Back off the ground. Good, and let's just jog. Bring the heels up behind you a little bit. Good. Or should we start open here? Get the old. Body temperature up, let's go uh, knees up in the front. Here we go, let's take it to jumping jacks, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, last five, quicker. One, two, three, 
Woo. And oh. nice job. There's our warm up. Good work. Grab a drink of water if you got it. Oh, mine's empty. I don't have it. <laughs> All right. So here we go. To start with a little core on the ground. I think we're gonna crush a little core today, so be ready for this. It's gonna be good. Um, there's my little perfect mat here. So let's come down onto the back, all right? On the back, we're gonna do a limited range of motion leg raise, okay? So if you are uh, feeling really strong, you can start, your top of your leg raise can be here. And we can go to the ground, just do a six inch kind of boot. If you're not feeling as strong, if you can start your leg raise up top and just go to there, okay? If you want to regress it further, you can go like this and make that your leg raise, okay? So choose your level. We're going to go 45 seconds starting right now. Here we go. Let's have the arms overhead. Take it down. Lower down. Whatever level you choose, keep that lower back on the ground. Very important. There we go. Yep, pushing out through the heels, flexing the hands, flexing the feet strongly. Palms are facing toward one another. Pull the ribs in. Lift the head if you can. Good. We're 22 seconds in. Keep going. We're going to switch over to something in just a second here. We're going to do continuous. Yeah. How about that? 15 seconds to go. Keep it strong. Lower back on the ground. Lower back on the ground. There you go. It's looking good. Yeah. It's a good work there. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. One stop, good, okay. Let's flip it over. So we're gonna go into plank position on the elbows, all right? Now, for some people, that'll be plenty. You can stick with that, okay? We wanna have a nice, honest plank, right? No, no big arch, and um, head is in line with the spine. Now, what we're gonna do from there, if you wish, is drive the knee across, knee across, knee across, knee across, knee across. So we have a little rotation, in that lower body. So draw, drive that knee toward your opposite elbow. There we go. Keep the body straight. And we go 45 seconds here as well, okay? So we're about 15 seconds in, okay? Stay strong. Stay flat, right? And if you, if you gas out on the rotational movement, just hold your plank static, okay? No problem with that. And if you gas out on the static plank, just take a little pause and then get back into it, all right? Keep going. We got about... 10 seconds to go. There's 10 right there. This is nice. Yep. We're really gonna get into the abs here. It's gonna be good. Three, two, one, stop right there. Good job, okay. Take it on the back again. I think we're done. Uh -uh. Here we go, so X-Man sit-ups. X-Man sit-ups. Here's level one, arms are extended, just like this. Level two, Legs and arms are extended a little up here like this, okay? X-Men sit-ups, let's go. We're gonna do 20 seconds on this guy, all right? All right, so not too far up. Yep, just a little crunch there and keep the, um, keep the arms and legs hovering off the ground, okay? Give me about 10 more seconds through this. Keep it working. Getting into that stomach, this is good. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, stop. All right, good. So. Just a little bit of a break from that. Coming to all fours. Give me your cat cow. Nice and easy. Breathe in as you go into cat there. Breathe out as you go into cow. Breathe in. So we're articulating that spine. Keep the arms long. Make sure to articulate that thoracic spine rib cage as well as the low back. All right, leave it alone. Good. Real quick here, let's do get on and off the horse. We'll do eight in each direction, starting on the inside leg. Kick it back, toes toward the ground. Big circle up and over. Repeat that back. Big circle up and over. Keep going. Arms straight, really articulate that hip joint. Really articulate the hip joint. The, the rest of you stays pretty still, right? Just really think about lifting that hip, that knee up as high as you can the whole time. Right, now let's reverse that. So now we go knee to chest, 
foot to the outside, swing it around. Eight times to do that. Two, three, I've done this so much and I still feel it. Eight, good job. Let's switch to the other leg. Kick it back, get on the horse. One, two, three. This is a precision one, right? We want to keep the arms straight. We want to keep that torso parallel. Two more, seven, eight. Let's go the other direction. Now we go to the inside. One, two, three. Fantastic, okay. So, going back to the back, okay? We're gonna do a 30 second set now. All those little leg raises, so 30 seconds. All right, so we, this is when we started with, right? So we got that lower back to the ground, we got those arms overhead. You got those feet out, 30 seconds starting now. Let's go. Crank it, again, you wanna make it a little easier, knees bent, right? Or intermediate, Little movement up top, okay? Whatever it is, keep the lower back to the ground, keep the feet flexed, and keep those arms overhead and the ribs pulled, pulled in. All right, this is good. Just give me 10 more seconds on this one. This is good. Three, two, and stop. Nice job, good. Take it over right into plank. Right into plank, here we go. Legs extended, body straight. Um, no big arch in the back. Let's start, legs across, three, two, one, let's go 30 seconds, pull it around, knee toward opposite elbow. Try not to let that butt creep up toward the sky. Don't make it into a little dolphin move from yoga. You wanna make it a plank, a flat plank, not a plank that you would throw away because it's bent and warped, okay? Keep going, give me 10 more seconds on this. You're doing good, doing very good. This is awesome. There's three, there's two, there's one, and stop. Good job. Okay, cool. Last one is our X-Men sit -up. Yeah, we're working the abs, that's right. We're doing six sets for abs. You don't always have to do the same thing every time, right? So here we go, we make our X, right? Let's take it down, 30 seconds, here we go. Last one. Put your name on it, right? Keep going. Last 30 seconds on the abs here. Go ahead and do your best, right? Keep it nice and spread wide. Again, if you have trouble, just bend your knees, okay? Bend the knees a little bit, okay? Or flatten the feet and just have the arms come up and down. All right, come on, give me five seconds on this. Nice and strong, come on now. Three, two, one, time, good job. Crush the abs, good job, good work. Come on up, have a drink of water. We'll move on to other things, good job, folks. Couple little drops on that water there. Okay, awesome. So let's play with, let's play with the famous squat to press. So if we, uh, if you need it, and most people do, go in and help, head and elevate your heels. You can do it on the edge of your mat. So John's got his mat there if you want to elevate your heels there. Or you can elevate your heels on the edge of that thing, that plank there, whatever you like. Let's get our dumbbells in our hands. So squat to press, upper body and lower body together. This is just gonna be 30 seconds, okay? So we wanna crank it out, we wanna work pretty hard here, okay? So let's start in three seconds. Dumbbells are here like this. Take it down into a squat, come up, press. <laughs> down, and up. You can use a flagstone too if you want to. There we go. And just crank right through that. Keep the chest high as you go into the squat. Keep going. And let's go 10 seconds on this. Get low each time, chest stays up high, press that overhead. So we've got the lower body and the upper body. Nice cardio little uh, side effect here. There's three, two, one, stop. Good, okay. So now we've got our pulling muscles. Pulling, pushing muscles, upper body and lower body, now pulling, um, now pulling. Okay, so bring our shoulder blades onto our back. Feet are parallel in shoulder width. Fold at the hips in that low position. Give me the row. 
and then release, and then come up. All right? So we fold, we row, lower, and come up. Repeat that. Fold, row, lower, come up. Keep that going. Remember, torso is long. Torso stays long. Do not round over. Keep the chest high like you're dive bombing. And draw those shoulder blades together strong. All right? Give me about 20 more seconds on this. Chest high, right? Fold, stretch. Uh, pull, that, uh, pull that row in, okay? Give me, we got 10 more seconds on this. So really with these two must, two exercises working basically every muscle in the body, okay? Pushing upper body, pushing lower body, pulling lower body, pulling upper body. Good, let's stop right there. Nice job. All right, hold on to your dumbbells, folks, because we're going back to the squat to press. So here we go. Heels elevated just slightly on your object, whatever it may be. Let's take those dumbbells up to shoulder height. Squat, press. Squat, press. Squat, press. Open up that chest, right? You want your head through the window, okay? Not here, put your head through the window. Keep going, we had about 13 seconds to go. Yes, about 13 seconds. Good, stay strong. All right, so the body's, the lower body's pushing, the upper body's pushing, go from small to big, right? Good, three, two, one, stop. Good, that's the 30 seconds. Keep your dumbbells in your hands. Yes, this is continuous. And yes, it's just two movements and they're tough. So, again, zip up that winter coat. We're nice and tall, pull those shoulder blades back. Maintain that shape with your torso as you fold forward, stretch the hamstrings, lock that position in, row, Release and come up. Fold, row, release, come up. Draw those shoulder blades together. That's important, right? You want to keep that chest high, squeeze. Superman, break out of those chains. All right, keep going. It's going to be a long set because we're working so many different things all at once. So we want to make sure we get a nice work through that lower body and working through the upper body at the same time. All right, give me about 12 seconds more. Keep it strong. We fold, right? Think about pushing the butt back, right? As opposed to, oh, I'm folding forward. All right, we're almost there. 28, 29, and stop. Good job. Put your dumbbells down for a second. Take a breath. We're about to go into set three, which as we know is the hardest, best set, okay? So take a breath, have a little drink of water, and get focused here. It's our last one, right? Last one on this guy. This is going to be where we really channel the warrior, okay? So we're gonna go 40 seconds on our last set, just a little more time to really get into that nitty gritty here. So let's go ahead and come down, push and repeat. Come down and repeat, come down. Get, see if you can get low, see if you can get that hip crease below the knee on that squat, right? If your knees complain, if your hips complain, if your back complains, you just change it, right? You just alter it how you need to. So if you need to, you can make this a half squat. That's okay, right? I'm just saying, if you've got it, if you've got the range of motion that's pain-free, work with that, okay? If you don't, you modify. You always modify, all right? We're almost there. We only have about five more seconds to go, and then we're gonna switch it over for a last set. There's three, two, one, stop there. Good job. Okay, we got our RDL into the row, okay? Zip that winter coat up. We're nice and tall, we're nice and strong, we're nice and long with the torso. The feet are parallel and shoulder width. Let's go ahead and start it up. Fold, stretch, feel that stretch. Pull, lower, and stand. Stretch, pull, lower, and stand. Stretch it, pull, lower, and stand. The whole time you want, as you're down there at that down position, you want to feel a little tension in the, um, in the hamstrings. And that's really about the degree to which you bend your legs. If I bend my legs more, I take more of the stress in my quads here. If I straighten them a little bit, then I start to feel, okay, does my hamstrings really firing up? You should feel that tension, right? Shouldn't be like excruciating. But you should feel, okay, my hamstrings are on, right? They're working. Good, let's keep going. Give me 10 more seconds of this guy. We're working hard. It's our final one on this little sequence. We're just doing two moves, back to back, back to back. All right, there's time. Nice job, good. Dumbbells away, take a breath, take a little drink of water. Nice job, everybody. Getting to go into some, uh, 
some push-up variations. I'm really doing my best with the last couple drops of that water. Okay, some push-up variations. And so I'm gonna get my, uh, my lovely push-up device here, AKA this old tire, okay? So we can work with hands elevated, you can work with hands on the ground, it doesn't matter. This one, it's a little tough because we're gonna do some push-backs, all right? So I would recommend hands elevated for just about everybody. So come on into this position here, kind of down dogish, all right? Lower here, and then here. Back here, and then push forward. Lower, here, all right? So we got a little kind of down dog here. Up. All right? So keep going with that. Give me about another 20 seconds on this guy, yeah? Good. Staying strong with that, and then we will work. Biceps here. Good. Five more seconds to go. Stay strong. Yep. Keep those shoulders uh, pulled back at the, top, at the bottom of the movement. Good. And stop. Nice job. Come to stand. All right. Let's get our dumbbells here. Supinated dumbbell curls. Supinated dumbbell curls. So feet parallel shoulder width, nice and tall. Take those dumbbells, rotate them out. We're just gonna go just like this, very simple. Mind in muscle, right? Mind in muscle. So we are going a little bit of isolation here, but remember everything else is working to keep us upright, right? The shoulders are down, the head is reaching up toward the sky. Mind is in the biceps, but everything else is a nice column, okay? Keep working that, nice and strong. Give me about another 10 seconds on this guy, and we'll get our third move in this little series there's three two and one good job okay third move in this series we're going to work with you to put dumbbells away we're going to work with a uh, plyometric jump here okay so <clears throat> here's what we do we're going to do you're going to do five little jumps three four five your last one big jump one two three four five big jump one two three four five big jump okay Keep going through that. So we got little ones and then a big one. Okay? Yeah, good. And you can flow it together. If you can get you can get that big jump out of the little jumps, then that's good. Good. Give me about five more seconds on this. Just a little plyometric and time. Nice job. Good. Take a little breath. We're gonna go through those three again. How are we doing on time here? Brilliantly, 12 more minutes to go. Okay, fantastic, folks. All right. So we got our down dog push-up here, okay? So remember, when you start this move, we want a little full at the uh, hip, hip line, okay? Lower yourself down, then bring yourself up here, with the elbow, and back, push back, right? Up, down, forward, up, and down, and back. There's the move, keep with that, keep it flowing, this is good. Give me about 10 more seconds on this guy. These are hard, all right? So I'm giving you a little shorter set here, all right? And there's three, two, one, good. Okay, biceps once again. Let's get those dumbbells in place. Stand tall, rotate out with those hands. Check your feet, parallel shoulder width, nice and tall, rotate out, chest up high, go ahead and dumbbell curl. Mind in those biceps, right? Let's go pretty controlled, yeah? So some people have very light weights. If you want to go a little faster, you can. If you want to get into it just a little bit more. Some people are heavy, you can go a little, slow, you can go a little, uh, little slower with that, okay? Whichever pace you choose, you want the whole movement to be controlled, right? You don't want to ever feel like, ah, my elbows, right? You're nice and strong, you're tall, all this is open. Give me about 10 more seconds on this and we'll go back to our plyo jumps. All right, there's four, there's three, there's two. There's one. We're done. Good job. Okay. Fly a jumps. So let's look at this real quick. One, two, three, four, five, jump, right? So our five, fifth one, you want it ideally to come out of those five little jumps, okay? So let's try that to go 20 seconds on this. Here we go. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, jump. One, two, three, four, five, jump. 
So I'm doing a little tuck at the top. If you want to do that, you can. Otherwise, just jump as high as you can. So we're working this reactive ability off the ground. Power is important. I've said this many times. Five more seconds to go. We want to be able to accelerate, decelerate our whole lot and stop right there. Good. Okay, take a small break before our third and final warrior set, right? Hold on to your good form. Hold on to that intensity, right? That nice alignment the whole time. Dig in hard though here a little bit, okay? So find your, find your push-up station. Let's start in five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down, push up. We're doing it. Stay strong with that. We've got about 14 seconds to go. Dig in. Good range of motion each time. Get your mind in those muscles. Keep the, dumb, keep the uh, elbows close to your uh, body so we're not flaring out and hurting the shoulders. Stay aligned, right? Tight to the stomach. Keep the breath going. The breath is going to help you like a steam engine. Three, two, one, stop. Good job. Okay, biceps. Grab dumbbells. Here we go. Once again, now we're working our columnar strength. Check those feet parallel shoulder width. Rotate out. Chest high. Let's go. Cool. Good. Keep working like that. This will be a 30 seconder. Stay strong, right? Lift that chest. You want to be tall. You want to be a nice column. Make sure those shoulders aren't shrugging. We're not doing this kind of thing. Keeping it open. All right. We're getting there. We got 10 more seconds to go. Keep it strong. Keep it strong. Nice and aligned. Stomach is alive. We'll get that breath going, powering us through. And time. Good job. Okay. Three, 20 seconds on these plyo jumps. Okay. Keep working this. All right. If it's still eluding you, like the coordination and everything, Take it slow if you have to, right? Just find it, okay? One, two, three, four, right, and five. Okay, here we go, 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, jump. One, two, three, four, five, jump. We're working our ability to accelerate, decelerate. Keep going, we're getting there. And that's it, good job. All right, well done. Have a drink of water. 8.33, we got seven minutes to go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Make a little tricep in there. And we'll see, maybe, I don't know, we've done just about everything. But we may, just to touch the tricep, just for fun, and then we'll go, and go into our stretcher, okay? Last workout of the week. we we'll get a nice little Sunday off tomorrow, so we might as well, uh, have, a, have ourselves a nice stretch at the end. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. You have a lighter pair. Work with those. If you, uh, you got two different weights, dumbbells up there, don't you, John? No, they just look different. Oh, they just look different. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Guy's going to develop a huge right arm and a small left arm. Okay, so right here, okay, let's work our skier tricep extension with a little pause right there. Freeze frame, tricep extension. Freeze frame. Freeze frame, release. Don't forget to freeze frame when we get that nice, nice extension there. Keep going, give me 13 seconds there. All right, on this one, let's say feet a little bit apart. Parallel shoulder width, soft through the knees. Push back, contract those triceps like you're squeezing juice out of a lemon. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, good. Pause that for a second, go ahead and take your dumbbells, put them down, okay? Let's do this. Take the hands, interlace them behind your back like this, okay? Squeeze the palms together. Check your feet. Good positioning there. Extend your arms as much as you can, right? So some people can do that. That's all they got. Some people have to go with the hands kind of spread apart like that. You just do your best. Ideally, we're here. We got our palms squeezed together, and we're here. We're opening the chest, okay? Deep breath. Try not to overarch the back, right? The back is going to want to do that. Try to bring the pelvis underneath you. Nice and strong. So now we're stretching those biceps out a little bit. Deep breath. Open the chest, right? It's a little more anti-sitting work here. All right? This is good. Deep breath into that chest. 
those biceps as well. All right, slowly roll the shoulders forward, relax. Let's do one more set on our triceps. So grab your dumbbells. This is the exact time here. 836, great, okay. Grab the dumbbells, fold it over, and let's get our triceps extension. Go ahead and extend and release. Extend and release. Extend and release. Lean into that extension hold even more, right? Hold that position, squeeze it, make it work, right? That is the money part of this exercise. The rest is fine, right? But it's that point where you're extending and squeezing those triceps that really makes the difference there. So lean into that. Give it a little bit more juice. Just lean into it, hold it just a little bit longer. All right, good, we're getting there. Three, two, and one, stop, nice work. Okay, good work. Dumbbells to the side, we're just gonna do a couple good stretches here. So, take it down into a half kneeling position, all right? So, <laughs> we're half kneeling, got one knee down. Take the pelvis now and press it, the pelvis under, right? So it's like we're shooting the, the, the tailbone between the legs, right? So I'll show you from the side. So when we go here, we're gonna wanna do that. So work against that, pelvis comes down. Now when you do that, already you probably have a little stretch here, right? You don't, so you don't need to go into a really deep uh, lunge to really emphasize that stretch. Keep the pelvis tucked under, hold that 30 seconds, yeah? Again, if I were to release this, I could go really low. But I don't necessarily wanna do that. I wanna tuck under, fire up the glute on that side even. That'll help me to stretch that uh, quad and hip flexor, all right? Hold on to that about 15 more seconds. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. For that deep stress. And go ahead and slowly release, fully oh, yeah. And switch to the other side, so the other knee is down. Okay, take that pelvis. You put, place, your, place your hands here, that'll help. And then go ahead and uh, tuck the pelvis under, tailbone goes through the legs. You'll feel that stretch immediately right there, okay? Now, if you need to, you can give a slight lunge there, but you don't have to do much. If you're really doing that pelvis tuck and firing up that glute, you're not gonna need much, all right? So I, I feel this a lot. And again, if I were to release this, you could go into a deep lunge, but I don't, I, don't, I don't really want to. I really want to see if I can control that uh, pelvic position. All right? Good, let's keep going. 10 seconds, in through the nose. Slow breath out to me. All right, good. Slowly release. Ah, so good. Come up to standing. Grab yourself a bend. All right, or a broomstick or whatever you have. A sweatshirt, t-shirt. You don't care about. Take about a uh, sh slightly wider than shoulder width. Bench press width grip here. Okay. Take the, take the band, bring it overhead. Now, bring your feet to parallel and shoulder width, right? Make sure that everything, even the stuff that isn't involved, is also aligned, right? And now, take the tension out of it, right? So you don't need to do a lot of effort bringing that, um, bringing that band back. Just let gravity take you back. And if you need to, you can slide your hands out. You can rotate your palms out just a little bit. And hold on to that. Keep working with that. Arms as straight as you can make them, yeah? Lock out, yeah. So if you can't do this without bending your arms a lot, I would go with a slightly wider grip on whatever you're holding. You turn the palms out. Deep breath into that chest. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice slow rotation now through the upper body. Deep breath. Someone say recently, if you're not doing a deep diaphragmatic breath during your static stretches, you might as well not do it. <laughs> okay. Open it up. This is good. You know, so we're, we're stretching the anterior side, right? All right, slowly come out of it. That's very nice. And let's get one more before we call it a day. Let's check our time. It's 840, that's okay. We'll just, we're gonna do one more in here. You have to go. Yeah, we're have somewhere to go at 8.47 in the morning. Go ahead and do it. So, 
let's you have your hands near something that's slightly elevated here. So I'm gonna go hands on this. Okay. I'm modified down dog here. Okay. So I'm gonna flatten my back as much as I can, and then I push my weight toward my heels. Okay. You can do. You can go with a much higher object. It's okay. You can go with a table. You can go with a bed. I'm just doing it on my little my, my tire here. I could do it with the tire um, on its edge too. I want to keep working. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep working my chest down toward the ground. Oops. Okay. My leaves in my tire today. So I take the chest down toward the ground. And keep trying to turn that tailbone up in the back. Press the chest down toward the ground. Nice deep breaths right there. Each breath out, try to bring yourself into a slightly deeper stretch. Okay. Slowly take your time coming out of that. Drop my tire on the ground. Hang up. And that, my friends, will do it for our Saturday workout. Thanks for being here. I will see you guys on Monday. And uh, have a good, safe weekend um thanks for tuning in and uh take good care stay connected stay healthy we're out <laughs>